Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu, a breastfeeding first, a transgender woman. A 30-year-old transgender woman has become the first to officially breastfeed her baby. So this is after a three and a half month experimental treatment program, which includes hormones, a nausea drug, and breast stimulation. She was able to produce 227 grams of milk per day, which is impressive, but below the average that a baby consumes when it's five days old, which is 500 grams. I hope you understand the impact of this. So this is a person that was assigned male at birth, has received feminizing hormonal treatments for the last few years, began lactation treatments, and is actually breastfeeding a baby. The hormones she received include spironolactone, which is thought to suppress or inhibit the production of testosterone, as well as progesterone and estrogen. A lot of transgender women are looking to have as many of the experiences that non-transgender women have, and this treatment may be very popular, enabling them to breastfeed. According to a medical scale that assesses breast development, this program has enabled her to develop breasts that appear to be fully grown, and cells within those breasts that produce milk. Her partner, who carried the baby to full term, had no interest in breastfeeding the baby, and so she decided to take the role on herself. In non-transgender women, prolactin is a hormone that triggers the production of breast milk. This isn't available in, as a drug form in a lab, so therefore the women are given a type of nausea medication called domperidone instead. Now, there are a number of points to make here. The treatment is not shown to be safe and effective long term, so there still needs to be more studies there. And the breast milk has not been fully assessed itself, so it's unsure as to whether it contains the same nutrient components as milk from gestational mothers. The long-term effect of milk hasn't been looked into. So things like changes to subtle measures like IQ as a result of having breast milk, these, these are still unknowns right now with this type of breast milk. This treatment, however, if proven successful, will then allow other transgender women to breastfeed, as well as women who want to adopt babies or women that have problems breastfeeding. What are your thoughts? Leave your comments below. That is, a breastfeeding first, a transgender woman. Thanks for tuning in. Love you, bye, love you, bye, love you, bye.